With such an emphasis these days upon occupational health and safety, safe laboratory practice should be a high priority for all students attempting practical work. With me is Mr Andrew Wright, the laboratory supervisor for chemical engineering. So Andrew, as laboratory supervisor, it's your responsibility to maintain safety in the lab at all times. Can you give us some examples of the kind of practice that should be avoided? Yes, I certainly can, John. Basically, it just comes down to common sense. Things like knowing the particular hazards of dangerous materials that you're going to use. And things like not eating these materials because you never know, they just might be contaminated. Then, John, there are the basic rules, things like no running in the laboratories and always opening doors carefully because there could be someone on the other side. Always handle things like acids very carefully and always wear the correct safety equipment, particularly gloves if the acid is concentrated. Housekeeping is important too. Be neat and tidy. Often students, particularly postgraduates, get so involved in their actual research that they neglect their apparatus. It's very important that the apparatus be securely placed on the bench so that it won't fall over. Keep the workspace as tidy and as ordered as possible. You also need to ensure that power cords, etc., are not placed in walkways where people are likely to trip over them and pull the equipment off the bench. Ah, Dr. Williams, good to see you. Yes, yes, we're finally getting some results from the apparatus. Yep, that million dollar contract's almost ours. Oh, no. Holy shit! If a valve has been tagged with a tag or warning label, don't be an idiot and remove the tag or open the valve because you just don't know what the process fluid might be. <coughs> if you're doing a once-off practical or are using a piece of equipment that you're unfamiliar with, make sure you know how to use it. And if something does go wrong, don't panic, get help. Those are just a few of the examples that spring to my mind, John. OK. Um, are there any others you can think of? Well, not uh, really, but leaving a loaded gun in a laboratory might cause some problems. That's about it, John. All right, Andrew. Well, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Oh, that's a pleasure. And one more thing. Things we've talked about here apply just as much to outside the laboratory as to within. Um, things such as? Never try and find a flammable gas leak with a naked flame. <laughs> 